and welcome to North Van, British Columbia. Today we're doing a shoulder and ab workout. So go ahead and start your fitness tracker. If you have a mat, a couple sets of dumbbells, please grab them now and we will begin. We're starting with a lighter set of weights for 20 side lateral raise. All right. So two sets of 10, standing nice and tall and picture your arms are kind of like wings. So you're going out to the side. Your yeah. shoulders look great. Oh, thank you. Daisy's here. Hi. Is the tide coming in, I think? Yeah. This feels good after doing pyramid this week. Mm -hmm. Good, we have 10 more for 10. Inhale, exhale. We have five more. Five, four, three, two, one more. Good job. All right, set them down. And I think we're going into, yes, mountain climbers. So we're going to come down to the mat and we're going to bring those knees in and out for 60. Nice and fast. Feeling those shoulders now? Mm -hmm. I am. 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Come on up. Nice job. All right. So we're going to do that again. 20 side lateral raise and then 60 mountain climbers. All right. So again, standing nice and tall, picture your arms are kind of like wings. You're going out to the side. You wanna use a weight that's light enough that you don't have to do this. So if you're moving your whole body, those weights might be a little bit too heavy, but also you don't want it to be too easy either. Good. And you wanna be feeling this exercise in this area your delts. Good, so we have 10 more. Breathe, here we go. For 10, nine. We have a cloudy, kind of rainy day here in BC today. Yesterday was similar. In five, four, good job, three, Two, one more. Excellent. Please come down for 50 mountain climbers. I mean 60. Okay, here we go. Keep going, keep going. Halfway. You can do it. to open the book, close the book. So if you have a little bit heavier weights, we're gonna stand nice and tall. We're gonna bring those elbows in and out, in and out for 20. All right. So we're gonna take those arms up just like this, bring them in and open, in and open. Good. Like you're opening a book and you're closing a book. Have you guys read any good books lately? Keep going, come on. Five, you're gonna feel that burn, you're gonna push through it. Four, three, two, one more. Excellent, set them down. All right, next we have plank jack. So we're coming down to that same position from your hands and your toes, but this time, we're gonna jack your feet in and out. Ready? It's kind of like opening and closing the book, but for your feet. Keep your bum down, try not to be up like this. So this doesn't only work your shoulders, but it's working your abs and your core. Lower back, here we go for 20, two, three. You can 
do it. 10 more, 10, nine, shoulders, six, five, keep going, four, three, two, and one. Ow! Are you feeling it in your shoulders? Yes. Good. What weight are you using for your open the book, close the book? Because I wanna challenge you to go a bit heavier. I'm using 15 pounds for this one in each hand. So challenge yourself. All right, here we go. 20, open the book. You can split it up into two sets of 10. 10, nine, keeping your elbows shoulder height. That's it. You can break here for a second and we can do another set of 10. If you want to add in any cardio, you're welcome to. Jumping jacks, high knees, skipping, burpees. All right, we have another set of 10. Let's go for 10 and nine, eight, seven, five, Four, keep going. Three, elbows up. Two, and one. Beautiful, set them down. And we're back for plank jack. Come on, hands and feet. We're gonna jack in and out. One, two, keep your bum down, please. Ten, nine, that's it. Come on, seven, six, four, three, Two, last one. Good. All right, we get to sit on our butt this time. And we have Russian twists. So we're going to take one of your weights. I'm gonna use a 15 pound dumbbell. We're going to keep our feet up off the mat if you're able. And we're gonna twist, holding the weight side to side. It's only 30 reps, I know you can do it. So let's go for one, two. Keeping your feet up, shoulders. more for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Set it down. It's time for burpees. We're going to be adding in a shoulder tap. If you prefer a push-up, you can do burpee with a push-up. And we have 10 of these. Catch your breath. Get ready to go. In 3, in 2, begin. So burpee, you can either do a push-up or an alternating shoulder tap. tap. Good, we have 10. Nine. We have five more. Five. Four. trying to hold our feet up. Sit back on your, your butt a little bit, holding that weight. We're gonna twist. All right, here we go for one. Keep your feet up strong in 10, nine, eight, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down. It's back. It's time for burpees. So either adding in a shoulder tap or a push up. In three, in two, please begin. Coming down, shoulder tap, big jump. Getting that heart rate up. time feel free to pause the video go at your own pace four three do you have 
you have music going on in the background. Two. One more. Good job. And again, we're going to come down to the mat. This time we have what's called up, down, plank, drag. So you'll need one dumbbell. I'm gonna move these out of the way a bit. Good. So, placing a dumbbell or a kettlebell on one side of your mat. We're going into plank position. <laughs> Woo! All right, so coming into a plank position, it's a high plank, so hands and toes. Now we're coming down to a low plank, down, down, so down to your elbows. Then back up to a high plank. Reach through, bring that dumbbell across, down, down, up, up. Reach through. All right, we're doing this 10 times. Down, three, reach through, bring it across. Down, down, up, up, four. Down, down, up, up for five. We're halfway, let's go, six. Reach through, bring it across, down, down, up, up for seven. Woo -hoo. Up, up, reach through for eight. Down, down, up, up, nine. Down, down, up, up for 10. Good job. As you can see, I'm using, so this sketchbook that she gave me. So this is her drawing in the book. So cute. Okay. So now we have a leg raise or jackknife. So you get to choose. So a leg raise is when you take your hands underneath your lower back and you lift those legs up and you lift them down. So that's one option. Another option is jackknife, where you hold on to a weight and you take it all the way down. Legs are out straight as well. And you meet in the middle. And you take it back down. And we have 20 of these. All right, leg raise or jackknife. The sky is starting to, the clouds are spreading. We're getting some blue skies. Here we go for 20. Pressing your lower back into the mat and breathe. Try not to let your back come up off the mat. Good job. We have 10 more. 10. Nine. Inhale, exhale, try not to hold your breath. Breathe. And we have four more for four. Three. Two. Last one. Good job. Set your weight to the side here and we're going back to up down plank drag for 10. All right, so starting in a high plank position, just like this. Now we're gonna come down, down, up, up, reaching through and bring that dumbbell across. Down, down, up, up, shoulders, abs, lower back. If you need to, you can also do these from your knees. If it's too challenging to go from your toes, that is also fine for beginners or intermediate. Down, down, up, up. Try to keep your bum down. Down, down, up, up. Keep going, we have two more. Down, down, up, up. One more. Good job. Awesome, so we're gonna flip it over, go back into leg raise or jackknife. Again, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video and then join us when you're ready for three, two, one, jackknife or leg raise. I'm using a 15 pound dumbbell for this one. I feel the more weight you're using, the more you're challenging yourself, the more you're gonna feel it. 
So if you're not feeling it very much, try increasing your weight in your hands. Good. The stronger those abs become, the more you need to challenge them. If something feels too easy, it might be just that you're so strong now. Five, and you need to challenge yourself more. Four. Three. Two. One more, please. And good. All right, setting that weight to the side. And we're going into frog crunch. This is one of Daisy's favorites. So we're gonna lay on our back, placing the bottoms of your feet together. That breeze is nice. So the bottom, oh dear. <laughs> one second. What happened? The door shut. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. The breeze felt nice, but also. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're back. All right, so we're laying on our mat with our feet, the bottom of our feet together. Now your knees are nice and open and we're doing a frog crunch. So we're gonna bring our upper body up to meet our knees like this, squeezing your abdominals. Then open up. So drop your legs, drop your neck, and then again, come up and meet in the middle, squeeze. The longer you hold it for, the more you're gonna feel this in your abs. Bring it up and squeeze. So if you wanna hold it for say three seconds each time, and then release. Good job. Touching elbows to knees. Try to get your shoulders up off the floor. That's it. Keeping your knees nice and open. We have 10 more for 10. Nine, slow it down, eight. The more you slow it down, the more you're gonna feel it. Seven, six, five, you got there. Come on, we're almost there. Four, three, two, last one. Good job. All right, so frog crunch, and then we're going into a spider plank. So we're gonna flip it over. We have 20 spider plank. All right, here we go. It's a high plank from our hands and our toes. We're gonna alternate knee to elbow, switch legs, knee to elbow. The sun. Sunshine. Try to keep your bum down. I hear seagull in here. Yeah. Nice sound. Yep. Ten. If you didn't know, there are no seagulls in Hawaii. Eight. Seven. Slow it down. Six. Five. Make your abs do the work. Four. Three. Two. One. Beauty. All right. So we're going to flip it over onto our back. And we have, again, frog crunch for 20. All right. Here we go. So feet are together. Knees are open. And we're going to bring those knees up and we're going to squeeze them to our elbows and then down. Bring it up and squeeze and down. Good. You should be feeling a burn in your abs. Challenging yourself. I googled it. It says it's because seagulls like to stay close to the mainland and yeah. they, they can like fly True. that far. Mm -hmm. That is a bit of a distance. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Ariel's uh, friend in mm -hmm. Little Mermaid a seagull? Yeah. What was his name? <laughs> Sebastian was the crab, right? Mm -hmm. Flounder was the fish. Flounder was the fish. What was her dad's name? King Triton. Scully. Scully was the seagull? Yeah. Cute. Did you just Google that? Yes. 
All right, good job, flip it over. And it's time for spider plank. We have 20 of these. Nice deep breath. So a high plank, elbow, uh, sorry, hands and feet. We're gonna bring that knee up and squeeze. Good. Nice. Keep going, we have 10 more. 10, nine, eight, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, so we're on our back. We have 10 weighted sit up with a press. I'll show you how that is gonna go using a weight that's challenging for you. Um, what is your favorite Disney movie you've ever watched? Mm -hmm. All right, so coming down, it's only 10 of these. So we're in a uh, laying down position, holding that weight above our head. Sit up and press for 10. I think mine would probably be Moana. Mm -hmm. George's is Lion King. Sophie would be Rapunzel. Tangled? Yeah, I think so. What's yours? I was thinking Moana. Yeah. But it's hard when you say Disney movie, not just Disney princess, because... Yeah. There's so many. Yeah. Like, Marvel cinematics is part of this. Right. But we don't count that. <laughs> Three. How about like animated Disney movies? Mm -hmm. Two. They should do an animated like Marvel movie. Mm -hmm. That'd be cute. All right, so next we have backwards ab rolls. So we're gonna stand in the front of our mat just like this. We have five backwards ab rolls. Laying down, roll back, and jump up for five. Father says Robin Hood. Four, yeah. Feel free to use your hands to get up if you need to. Three. Two. One more. Good job. All right, so now we're going back to that uh, weighted sit up with the press. So come on down. You're gonna pick up your weight. Yes, this one. I'm using a 15 pound dumbbell again. All right, so here we go for 10. Shoulders and abs. Nice work. Five more, please. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Good job. And then we're gonna set this down and we're coming back up for ab rolls. All right. Five ab rolls. Nice big jump. Roll back. And then standing up. Good. For four. Three. Two. One more. Good. Awesome. Okay. Now, if you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, we're going to finish this one with suitcase or disco side bend. Woohoo! All right, so I'm gonna take away, feet are nice and wide apart, and we're going to hinge at the hip, so all the way down. You're gonna feel a slight pull through this oblique, and standing up. Good. All the way down, and up. Nice. So you can use a heavier weight for this one. You can use a kettlebell, dumbbell. Good. Suitcases. You could even use a suitcase. I have a question that I feel like, I don't know what the answer would be. Yep. What platform was all your kids shows on? Like we had the like Treehouse, Nick Jr. It was just like, there wasn't a whole channel just for kids shows. It was like in the morning, there would be two kids shows. Hmm. And then the rest of the day, it would be like adult shows. Okay. And that night there would be like a kids show again. Yeah. At like 4.30 after school. You didn't, it wasn't like a whole channel? We had three channels. 
growing up. Mm -hmm. Three, that was it. Well, what about for other people? Like if they were rich? So if they were rich or if they didn't live in a little town, eventually there was cable. So that was in the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe like Treehouse or something? Um, Maybe like a Teletoon or something like that. I don't think Treehouse was till like the thousands. Like what was Elmo on? Elmo's World, Sesame Street. I think mm -hmm. they had their own channel. Oh, wow. If I'm wrong, correct me. But growing up in the 80s, we had three channels. <laughs> One was French too. <laughs> Tele, I'm trying to remember what it was called. That's how you see, say TV in French, tele. Television. Sometimes you are so hard up to watch a kid's show that you just watch the French one. <laughs> All right, other side. <laughs> you understood like one out of every 10 words. Did yeah, movies ever go on TV or was it just on TV? On like Sundays, so remember Walt Disney? Yeah. On Sundays at like 5 or 6 p.m., Walt Disney would put on a kid's show. Okay. Um, that was a good one. And then we'd set the, the VHS player to mm -hmm. tape it so that then now you had it on VHS and you mm -hmm. can watch it over and over if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. But they were only Disney movies, which was great. Yeah. Lady and the Tramp, I remember. 101 Dalmatians. Parent Trap. Make sure your feet are nice and wide, feeling you that. You the OG parent trap, not Lindsay Lohan. No. Uh, Lindsay Lohan would have been after that. Yeah. Good, bring it up. Stretch. Doing great. Give me three more, please. For three. Two. One more. Now, you have completed one full round of our shoulders and ab workout. Please go back to the top and repeat one more time. When you're done, make sure to stretch. Uh, we'll see you back here next time. Give yourselves a hand. Great job.